Welcome. It is time. It is time to film the long put off and delayed decluttering my closet until it is minimalized video. We are shooting for a 60 piece wardrobe at the end of this video. And that includes everything except like socks and underwear, which I'd like to have multiple of just for hygienic purposes. But otherwise that's everything. So let's hop over to my closet and get started because if I keep talking in this intro, I will just never start. It's time. Let's do it. Hello again, welcome to my closet. So here's the deal. I said 60 pieces, right? We know that. But I did make a list for myself that categorizes my wardrobe into three separate parts that I'm gonna film this video in. So I've got my iPad here and I wanna tell you now what I want in each category so we know right off the bat what we're shooting for. My casual wardrobe is going to be the biggest. I allowed myself 32 items out of the 60 for my casual wardrobe. And that breaks down as follows. Two pairs of jeans, two pairs of casual skirts, three pairs of casual shorts for summer, I'm including like an all year round wardrobe in the 60 piece set. Five everyday tops, four sweaters, three casual dresses, cause I love dresses. One special occasion dress, cause I didn't know where to put that. So that's not really casual. I guess it could have gone in the formal section, but it's not really a business thing either. Three sweatshirts, three cover-ups, like jackets, shawls, anything like that. Five just normal t-shirts for bed, working out, whatever. And then one robe. The workout category has 15 items in it. That includes two workout shirts that are not t-shirts like I have a few like tank tops and things like that in my wardrobe that I really only ever use to work out then five pairs of leggings four pairs of spandex or biker shorts and four sports bras then finally the smallest part of my wardrobe is already my like formal and business wear category but since I do still do some consulting in the event management field I do need to have this kind of clothing for this part of my wardrobe I would like to keep two pairs of formal pants, one work skirt, three work shirts, like blouses, three work cover-ups, and that includes like blazers, shawls, jackets, anything that I use strictly in a business setting. For me, that's probably gonna end up just being some blazers, and then three work dresses because I often opt for a business dress instead of pants when I'm going to like business formal work things. That's just my style. Okay, so to sum it up, that was 60 items total, 32 in casual, 15 in workout and 12 in formal. And just to make it interesting, I did go through my closet this morning and count how many items I have across all of those categories currently. And I have 110, give or take one or two, I could have miscounted. So to make it to my goal, I have to get rid of 50 items, which is about 45% of my current wardrobe. So I'm almost getting rid of half of my clothes. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot shoes. Dang it. Okay, we will get to shoes too. I will definitely get rid of some of my shoes as well. We will talk about that maybe at the end of the video. But I think it is time to open this bad boy up and get started on the casual wardrobe declutter. Oh my gosh, Lord help me. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do this, but what feels right in the moment is to just pick the things that are obvious to me maybe, that I know I wanna keep, and then fill in blanks um, or get rid of things when it gets hard, you know? So, okay. So the first point, and I'm gonna be looking down a lot because my list is sitting on the table down here, is two pairs of jeans in the casual wardrobe. This one is easy, I know you can't quite see it, but I am wearing one of my favorite pairs of jeans right now. They are bell-bottom jeans and I really enjoy them. They're kind of like this nice dark jean. I definitely wear these most and then recently I purchased these jeans from Monsoon London, which is a really ethical and sustainable company, but unfortunately they were delivered in the completely wrong size and they are like four sizes too big. I loved the design, like the wash of them and they are more of like a straight leg thing. I'm emailing them now to figure out how I can switch that up. But anyway, that is the style of jean that I really want aside from my dark wash ones that I wear all the time. And I think those two could just be the only jeans that I own. Believe it or not, the pair that I have on right now are the only ones that I own, aside from that pair that I was hoping to add to my collection. But hopefully I'll get the pair that I actually want from Monsoon London to an exchange and then I will have what I need. So that's easy, jeans. Done. Next is two casual skirts. And we are really starting off with some weird ones because I don't have a single casual skirt in my collection. And guess what? The second thing that I ordered from Monsoon London that came again in the wrong size is this really pretty denim A-line skirt that I wanted as a casual skirt. I ordered two things from them. Both of them came three sizes too big. I don't know what exactly happened. Again, if I can just exchange this, I'm sending both of them back. Then I think having a jean skirt that's an A-line too. I just, I have big hips. I just think that having an A-line skirt really flatters me. That is the only skirt that I kind of have in my collection right now. And so my reward 
to myself if I have any parts of my closet where I can think of something I want but I don't have it yet. That's gonna be my reward at the end of this entire declutter is I'm allowed to go shopping for very specific items I wanna add to my collection. That might have to be a separate video. I'm not gonna include that shopping spree in the video today. But for those items, if you guys can think of anything when we go through my wardrobe, like for example, if you can think of a second skirt, I'd really like to have two casual skirts. Throw suggestions for a style I should be looking for for my second casual skirt in the comments below. Next, we've got three pairs of casual shorts for the summer. And believe it or not, I did just pull these out. I have three that I love. Love them, keep them, let's move on. Five everyday tops is the next part. And that does not include sweaters. I gave myself four sweaters. In Black Friday, I just got the top that I'm wearing, this cute like tee. And then I also got this one. These are both from the brand Veta. Again, very sustainable clothing brand. You should totally check them out. And they are like a capsule wardrobe brand. This is a keep. This is a keep. So that's two of the four. Oh no, five. I'm sorry. I get five tops. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm going to take a beating in the comments for this one. Hear me out. So this is a Brandy Melville dress, but I am a very tall woman. And if you don't know the brand Brandy Melville, I think all of their products are one size fits all. I know that this one is and it is stunning. I actually got gifted this by a friend of mine that was several sizes bigger than me and it looked incredible on her. She was a lot shorter than me though and it does fit me for the most part in every way beautifully. It's just when it gets to my booty it's so short. I can't I can't wear it like this and I've held on to it for a little while because I have every intention of taking it to a tailor in town and having someone professionally cut it off to be a shirt. I don't know if I would want it cropped like the same silhouette as this one or maybe a little longer so I can wear it as like a shirt I can kind of pull down over my hips but currently the length is just so awkward and this is not the only item. I think I have two more maybe that I can think of that I will not get rid of in this video because I love them so much and I don't believe I could find anything like it easily that I would just rather pay for them to get tailored so that I can really enjoy them and use them for years and decades to come hopefully. This is one of those items. So I am including this as a shirt and I think I might actually, if you're interested, film another video soon where I take all of those things to a tailor in town. But anyway, this is the third everyday shirts that I'd like to keep. Oh my gosh, friends, all of these here, I'm holding like, it's gotta be like 10 shirts. Five seemed so good in my head when I was planning this and now it seems like so little. I think I'm gonna say that this shirt is the fourth blue and white tie-dye shirt that I can get a lot of use out of. So I think this is number four. These are the shirts that I really am debating between. There are six more that I don't want to get rid of. I'm going to circle back to these and set them aside for now. And then I'm going to tell you which ones I'm willing to get rid of. I don't need them anymore. This is one of them. The silhouette is just not attractive. It, I feel like it makes me look heavier than I am. So it's got to go. Next, my friends, is this sequin top. This is one of those that I'm like, oh my God, if I go out clubbing or to a crazy party, I would totally wear this. But here's the thing. It is so uncomfortable that the inside is lined. It doesn't hurt you on the inside, but my armpits hitting this mesh or the, the sequins is just so uncomfortable. I have to be honest with myself. I never wear it. I never wear it. Let it go. This one is really hard to get rid of. My boobs just don't fit in it. And this is particularly hard to get rid of because my best friend in the world got it for me a little while ago and I have worn it several times, but I find myself avoiding wearing it because it just doesn't fit quite right. I think I have to get rid of it. Lucy, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. Next is this like fake leather camel colored uh, bodysuit. It doesn't fit, I never wear it. Yet another thing that I think I can get rid of. It is just way too big and I was too lazy to take it back. So don't be like me, but I do have to get rid of this one. Okay, so I am going to keep this one tank top, but then I have these two different camis, a black one and a white one that I've held onto for years and are frankly disgusting. And also, guess what? They don't fit my boobs anymore. And I also just don't find myself wearing camis to layer very much anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of these. The only tank top I think I will keep is this one black tank top. And I love this for layering under anything that is see-through. This is very form-fitting. It is the most like spandexy kind of thing you will ever see. And I love it for that reason for layering because I feel like it's not going to bunch up and stuff under anything I wear it under. It schlicks to my body, which is kind of nice. Do I have a tank top option? I don't in my casual, but I do have those um, workout tank tops. I guess I got ahead of myself a little bit, but I do use this to work out sometimes too. So I think this would be great for workout, layering, anything like that. So I am going to keep it. Oh, also one more cami. This is a gray one. It is so freaking thin. I'm pretty sure it's like an Aeropostale one I had from high school. 
done. And then I have my Khaki Reviews Beauty merch top, which I love, but the picture online when I ordered it was this very light pale blush pink and it came as this friggin' neon tank top, which I still wear to work out and stuff, but I don't wear it very much outside of working out and so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. I love Khaki so much. I just wanna support her by like repping her merch, but this is gonna have to go in a maybe pile. We're gonna have to have a maybe pile for this video that we revisit at the end. And I think this is gonna be the first edition. Maybe pile. If you can't tell, I'm like throwing all of the things like the rejects go over here, the maybe pile is starting over there. And then the stuff I'm too afraid to confront right now is right here. Okay, I'm still not ready to confront how many shirts I want to keep in my just like everyday shirt collection. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, let's move on to sweaters. The ones I know I'm keeping. Black turtleneck sweater, heck yeah, it's form fitting. This one, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's ribbed. Classic, definitely keeping. Gray turtleneck sweater, but this one is a crop top and it's got balloon sleeves. Absolute keep, I've been wearing it so much. My green sweater, I got this at Target. It's like a deep emerald green. It's just, it's about the fit for this one. I love having a green sweater. And I've worn this one in several videos. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the past because I think it looks really great on camera, but on camera, you don't see how it doesn't fit like around the waist. So I, I gotta get rid of this one. Okay, this next one, just looking at the sweaters I have left, I actually think is gonna be a pretty easy keep. And I was worried it wouldn't be. Again, with the balloon sleeves. Girl, friend I just it's an obsession it is a very flowy one and it is an off the shoulder sweater it's got this thick band that wraps around the shoulders the one reason why I thought I wasn't gonna keep it is because when I move in this it just like pops up onto my shoulders and I have to like shimmy it back down which can be annoying but this is also the sweater I wore on my not my first date with Seth my second date with Seth the first time he ever took me out to a restaurant and I remember that night I felt so confident in this sweater and so it's got sentimental meaning to me for that reason. I'm gonna keep it. For now, I'm gonna say this is my fourth sweater. Okay, just looking at the sweaters I'm keeping, this one, the date night one, the like balloon sleeve gray one, and the like stiff black turtleneck, I am wearing sweaters so much right now when I go out. I'm really excited about those four. I think that was a really good choice. Now it's time to find three casual dresses and I have a lot of dresses. This is one of those categories where I'm like, I really could find something better than what I have. Like I don't love any of the casual dresses I have except this one. This dress, when it's on, I feel stunning in. And so I definitely, this is a casual dress I will keep. And then I have this gray, simple, dress. I think it's really universal. So I think this will be the second one I keep. And then I have two dresses left and I actually think I know what my decision is. I think I'm going to get rid of this one, not because I don't feel cute in it, but because I have to be honest with myself. I have gotten bigger in size and it just doesn't fit me like it used to. And that's okay. Getting rid of it. And then this one has been buried in my closet for the longest time, but is so freaking cute. This is a gift that my mom got me when she was in India. My mom is Buddhist, fun fact, um, and she travels to India quite often. Why not keep it? It's from India. Beautiful. Okay, so those are my three casual dresses that I'm keeping right now. I would love to have one or two more casual dresses that I feel really confident in, something either with balloon sleeves or an A-line fit that like is what I know I feel good in now that I'm old enough to start learning what silhouettes I like on my body. Okay, the next one is just gonna be a fun break from all of these tough decisions. One special occasion dress is what I allowed myself. I only have one that I really call a special occasion dress. I don't think you guys are ready. It's gonna come up slowly. All right, it's oh, oh. Okay, so this actually whoop, flips in the back and the back is completely open. It does zip up to here. It's got some like detail in the bodice that frankly I could do without, but I don't mind it. It is more so the fantastic flow of this dress, the watercolor effect that it has on it. And it has like a little bit of a train. It is full length, even on me, like a 5'11 girl. I'm gonna just have to request that you let me have this, okay? No comments about how it is a prom dress. I'm well aware, but one day when I am a fancy, like well-known YouTuber and I have to walk a red carpet and it's like my first ever red carpet event and I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna wear? And I don't have any like stylist friends yet or like really fancy people in the fashion industry that'll give me a dress. Catch me walking the red carpet in this baby, okay? Also, if I ever get invited to like a black tie yacht party, yes. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Jean jacket, leather jacket, that's two of them. 
Okay, we are like two hours into filming this video. To save us some time and hopefully keep you interested, I spent some time off camera deciding what the fifth everyday shirt was going to be. And I landed on this one. It is a flowy white top long sleeve from Target. So to circle back, since it's been a few minutes, I'm gonna keep that one, the tie-dye shirt, this one that I wanna get altered, and this guy, along with the one that I'm wearing right now. I think all of those are ones that I can pair with a ton of different outfits. But we have spent the bulk of this video, and I knew it was gonna be this way, going through my casual wardrobe, but we are officially done with that. And the next two categories are gonna be so much shorter. So let's move on to the formal category, because that is also hanging. And then we will go down to the floor and these drawers and we can talk about the athletic clothes I'm gonna keep. Gosh, this is such a massive declutter, but it is gonna look so good at the end. Okay, formal clothes. All right, so for formal clothes, it's gonna be really easy because I decluttered a ton of my formal clothes when I quit my full-time job to do YouTube. So this shouldn't take too long. Let's start with the two pairs of formal pants I already know what those are gonna be. I recently got one pair of new black slacks that are wide leg. I got these from the brand Veta as well, the same brand that I got this shirt and that one beige shirt from. And then I gave into an Instagram ad a while ago and it actually turned out really well. These are from the brand Beta brand and these are like yoga pant formal slacks. So they have all the seams, pockets even, belt loops in all the right places to make them look very formal. Frankly, I've worn them to a ton of events and they look great. No one has ever been like, oh, you're wearing yoga pants. But these are straight leg and so they're a slightly different style. Frankly, I'm okay with just having two pairs of black slacks in slightly different styles. Next, I said that I get one work skirt and this is it. It is actually quite old. I have like a couple little fraying pieces on here, but it has pockets. It's stretchy. It's got kind of a wide waistband and I think that's slimming. I don't like the ones that are really skinny. And then I gave myself three work shirts and I'm thinking these are just gonna be the ones I put under a blazer that I can tuck into any pant or skirt that I want. So I'm just going to pull the ones I have and look at that, I have four. So I only have to get rid of one. You know what, I think I know which one I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, I said three work cover-ups or like blazers, jackets, things like that. The one that I use most that I will keep until the end of time is this pinstripe blazer from Express. It cuts in at the waist just slightly. When I wear it, it makes me look like I have this hourglass figure. I wear this most when I work, so absolute keep. Then I recently got this one from Ann Taylor. It is a gray, like charcoal gray one. It's really hefty and weighty. It ended up being a little big on me. It looks okay when it's on, but it really doesn't cut in as much. This is one of those items that I would really love to get tailored um, along with that one shirt I mentioned earlier. I'm definitely gonna keep this. And then look at that. But I actually think I'm going to keep this beige duster and get rid of this blazer because the beige duster is far more versatile. I have another black blazer that I wear all the time and love. And this one is just not very good quality. It's one I got when I first started doing like more management stuff in college, like in internships. Okay, and then to close out the formal category, I am allowing myself three work dresses. I did also get rid of a ton of work dresses before. And so I think this is gonna be really easy. This dress was an absolute showstopper. When I was working prior, I would just wear this in a pair of like black pumps or black boots, my leather boots. Oh, I got so many compliments on it, but it doesn't fit the same anymore. We just gotta let it go. So that leaves three dresses, all of which are different shades of blue. But I think blue is classic for work dresses. It's really easy to pair with the black stuff that I have, except the navy here, but I think this would go really well with the duster or the gray charcoal blazer. This teal one is just a long bodycon dress. It is hot. As sh I feel so good when I'm in this. The next one is a Michael Kors one gold accents again. Really cute, just hugs me in all the right places. If I want a dress that's a little more flowy, I go for this one. And then this baby is something I did not think I would like nearly as much as I do, but I got it along with that gray blazer I mentioned before. It's from Ann Taylor and it has got this like, okay, so it's got the V up top and then it's got this nice natural waistline and then it bows out of it and the bottom is ruffled. And so it like makes my but look fantastic. And I also just love that it is baby blue, like that shirt I mentioned. That is just such a classic business look. And it is long enough for my long, long body. So all three of these dresses, absolute home runs. And that is it for formal. 
Let's move on to the floor and we will get through this workout section and then we will see what we are left with and see if I have any other selections from the baby pile that I wanna bring back in. All right, welcome to the floor of my closet. Let's get right into it. I wanna start with the workout shirts that I'm keeping. This was pretty easy for me. I just have two. I have this one that's like a crop top that I'll wear to the gym, goes with a ton of stuff. And then I have this one from a um, hot yoga studio I used to work out at, which is really cute. Both lightweight, both great to wear like during hot yoga sessions. I know this is kind of gross, but when you wear something like that, it's often just to like use to like blot yourself when you're sweating so much. So I'm gonna keep those two. Then I said that I get to keep five pairs of leggings. Let's just go with the ones I wear most and then see where that gets us. So I wear this black pair of leggings from Aloe Yoga most full length, just black leggings. Then I would say I wear my emerald green, the Girlfriend Collective leggings most after that. And after that, I would say I wear this peach set most. I do have another set from Aloe that I got in a medium, I think, and I just really need a large from Aloe. These are so nice. They're just too small, so I'll get rid of these. And then I have this chocolate brown pair that I got recently. The calves and the waist fit beautifully, even with some give. And then at my booty, which I have, I've got some hips, but at that area, it just, the fabric thins out. Like it's just gonna rip. It's just weird. I don't like the fit of it. I do need to get rid of these. There are a few things that I swear I put in my closet today and then I just couldn't find when I wanted to do this video. I have a pair of very pale green, not these, but like a pale sage green capri that I really, really like that I will also wear and work out in. They probably are in the wash because I wore them recently and I just didn't realize. Those are definitely gonna be my fourth pair. And then looking at these three, I honestly think it would be really smart for me to go in search of a second black pair just because I use black leggings so often, whether they're from Aloe Yoga or wherever. And then I think I would be really happy with where that left me with the leggings I have. So I guess I'll just keep the four for now, but moving on to sports bras. Oh my gosh, I need to get rid of some. I said that I could keep four sports bras. I actually skipped ahead of like spandex biker shorts. That's fine. We'll do that after sports bras. I have a chocolate sports bra that also came with that set. And this just fits weird too. The shoulder straps are so long. It just, it's gotta go. I don't know what is up with that set from that brand. Next, I've got this hot pink sports bra that frankly was like a hand-me-down from a friend. I don't think she used it a ton before it got to me, but it is a little too small. Gotta go. I also have this like halter top sports bra that I got from Target. It's not flattering. It gives me like side boob really bad and just hits my shoulders weird. Makes me look like I have weird shoulders. Don't love it, getting rid of it. This is the bra to the green legging set that I got. So comfy, so cute, fits beautifully. I feel like I look extra muscular in it. I don't know what it is, I'm keeping it. And then along that same vein, I do have a bra, sports bra that goes with the peach leggings. I wear these together a lot, love it, keeping it. Then I love this top. I love the like wine red color. I'll wear it with my black pants. I'll wear it with really anything. So cute, super comfortable. And it comes down a little further, like towards the belly button. So on days where I feel like covering up my, my midsection a little bit more, I can wear this. This is just a black sports bra that is far too big for me, getting rid of it. And would you look at that? That leaves me with my Racerback reversible one from Victoria's Secret. I have had this a long time. I probably should get rid of it. I mean, it doesn't show any sweat stains, but it does have some like pulling and stuff on it because I wear it so often, but it can be charcoal gray or black. I wear it all the time. I'll keep this and that turns out to be four. Okay, now for the spandex shorts and biker shorts. The reason I am allowing myself four of these outside of just the leggings that I have is that I wear these to lounge in a lot. I was a competitive dancer. So if you think that's weird, I've run into some people in life that think it's weird that I lounge in like spandex, but it's just, it's what I wore to practice all the time when I was a kid and it's just what I'm most comfortable in. So let's see, I have one pair of black biker shorts that are super comfortable. I feel really good in, wear all the time, keeping. I've also got this pair of biker shorts that has pockets. It's got this kind of tie-dye gray and black effect. Love them, keeping them. I have got my gray, kind of like heather gray ones. Super cute, love these, keeping them. I have this pair of black spandex that have seen better days. I've had them since high school when I was still uh, dancing competitively. It's time for them to go. Pretty sure they have a hole like on the crack in the back too. Not great, get rid of them. Then I have these pink spandex or I do have these from Aloe Yoga. These are the only like 
short, not just like biker length shorts that I have. And they are light blue, which I think is really cute. Between these two, I really like these more style wise. So I think I'll hold on to these and get rid of these. I just, there's something about the way they wear that I don't find flattering. Okay, so four pairs of shorts that I can lounge in and such. I've got all my bras and then three of my leggings in front of you, plus the sage pair of capris. These are all full length. I think that's pretty good for workout stuff. Let's look at the maybes and see if I want to pull anything and then we will wrap it up. So when I was deciding what the number would be for the clothes that I am keeping, I honestly don't think that I put enough time into thinking about how many shirts, like everyday shirts, I would need in my casual wardrobe for all of the months out of the year, like all of the seasons. So for that reason, I did rescue a few of the things from the maybe pile and I'm allowing myself to get up to 65 items of clothing instead of 60. So a black shirt and a white shirt I think are incredibly important to have. Then I also think that I am going to rescue this shirt from the maybe pile. This is so cute. It is velvet. It's a crop top. I think it will look so good under the black leather jacket I have. It would look great under the jean jacket. There are a lot of things I can pair it with or I can use it on its own. I'm keeping it. So if you can believe it, we got it down to just this. So from this fluffy robe that I have all the way over to this shirt, this is my everyday outfit stuff, along with the uh, up to the t-shirts up here. That is my casual stuff. And then if you can believe it, just this right here from the blazer to the slacks is my formal attire. Then if you factor in the workout stuff that is in my drawers down below, and I did today also, I didn't show it on camera, get rid of all of the bras and underwear that are just old that I don't need anymore. I don't know about you, but I would say that's a capsule wardrobe, baby, or pretty close to it. Now for the most exciting part of the reveal, in my opinion, the pile of clothes that I'm getting rid of. Ta-da! Dude, just look at how massive this pile is. I truly mean it when I say that I don't ever want to get to a point where I am decluttering that much again. I think it's wasteful. And at this point in my life, I am really trying to focus on only spending my money on clothing items that I am thrilled about. Not that I'm just like, oh, okay, that could be cute. Like, no, I have to put it on and be like, I feel like this was made for me. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. It is now pitch black outside. I have been filming for about five hours, but looking at the closet that I have now, I feel so good about the items that I decided to keep. I think a 65 item capsule wardrobe isn't even a capsule to a lot of people, but I feel really good about just kind of slimming down the amount of clothes that I do have to just stuff that makes me feel like me and I feel like mixes well with each other. So I really hope that this declutter video was satisfying to you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.